ha, waiting in line, waiting in line, ha, ha, waiting in line. So what if I'm off a little pitch? But all these bikers are staring at me. What's so weird about someone recording himself? That's not weird. Right? Right? Guys? Going, everybody it's Ryan and we are in the John Deere 4640 we have the M&W little red wagon on the back and today we are selling corn out of the 20,000 bushel grain bin that we put in in the fall of 2015 so where we're hauling it to is the feed store because they are using it to put it into their feed rations one of the big perks about selling it to the feed store is that having the feed store this close actually gives us quite a bit of flexibility in determining where we want to send our grain to because we don't have to pay trucking expense to send it to the elevator and the basis isn't quite so bad at the feed store so I'm gonna fill up this load uh, this would be my third load today they asked me to come right back so I'm gonna fill up out of the bin and it's really nice and easy because you can fill this thing in no time with this grain bin because it has the side auger so I'm gonna hop out and I'm gonna start filling her up Gotta open the gate in the center. Yes, the duels are still on the 4640. We originally didn't really intend on using the 4640 to pull the grain wagon down the road, but we put the baler on the 7600 and would rather use the 7600 instead, so we're on with the 4640 today. So, you gotta take it easy on this one. One thing you gotta watch out for when you're pulling these kinds of wagons is you gotta watch out for wobbling. Now, these types of wagons have the wheels on the front that turn so what happens is the tractor will not drive in a straight line there's nothing you can do about it every tractor has some kind of wobble in the steering it doesn't matter if it's a 4020 or it doesn't matter if it's 8235R uh, they all do it on the road but one thing you got to watch out for is that the tractor likes to swing back and forth and the wheels 
on the wagon are always trying to correct. So if you start wobbling in the tractor, the wheels are turning to compensate because they try to turn with the tractor. Now, I was on this stretch of road the other day with the 7600 and I was going a little fast down this hill. Uh, this That tractor can go 26 downhill and this one can only go about 18, 20. So I don't really have to worry about it quite as much. But when you have a load on a grain wagon, what it likes to do is wobble because of that compensation in the front wheels. And when I had the 76 on it, I was looking in the rearview mirror and I noticed that it was wobbling. So I started to apply the brakes. And what happens is that when you apply the brakes is that it gets really bad before it stops wobbling. So if you start, if you start wobbling, and you press the brakes in, it will get worse before it gets better. And that's what it did. Uh, I wasn't brave enough to look back, but I started to get a little nervous because it was doing that. And I looked in the rear view mirror and I could definitely see that it was doing a little bit more wobbling than it should have. That's all I'll say about it. But um, this is one of those things that you gotta watch out for. You gotta be careful not to overcorrect when you're steering. And you gotta be careful not to go too fast. So that was actually the stretch of hill where it happens. So now that I'm past it, I can go full speed. Now what I gotta do, when I get there is I gotta load up or pull across the scale. I'll walk in, they'll weigh me, and then I'll pull over to the green leg. When they're ready, I'll start unloading. Then I'll pull back over the scale again. That way they know how many bushels just by the weight I had. So about three quarters of the way there now. They have a small storage bin inside the building. That's where it goes. All right, I got it unloaded. I got to pull over to the way scale. And then it's just rinse and repeat. They want another load, so I'm gonna head back and get another one. Shouldn't have pulled out of a 
tractor has to slow down for you. So I guess that's about it for today. They aren't going to be taken anymore, and they're only open half the day tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. And so that's all they're going to take for today. Uh, not too sure if they're going to take one right away in the morning, but we'll be in contact with them whether or not we need to load this up for the morning because usually when they do take it, it's very early, about seven or seven o'clock in the morning that they want it. So they might might want one, might not. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time.